Hey guys, first of all, thanks for choosing the GoPro telemetry template. I will try to show you in a nutshell how to use it. I'll be using the GoPro telemetry extractor premium to extract the data, but you can use the free version as well. First, we need some GoPro footage. We just grab the file and drop it on the program. In this first example, we're going to use accelerometer data extracted from a roller coaster video, which should have plenty of interesting forces. So we choose the accelerometer stream and we choose After Effects as our output format. This will give us a file that we can import into After Effects. Now let's import our footage too. And the easiest way to start is to create a composition from the footage itself. Now we can select the gauge we want to work with. Because we chose the accelerometer stream, we can use gauges like acceleration, airtime or g-force. Let's use the g-force path. It shows the change in g-force over time. Let's get inside the GeForce composition and drop our mgjson file on it. Now from the control layer, we can select the file we just dropped. This will already give us valid data synchronized with our video. But we want to customize things. So let's use the control layer again and increase the memory points so that we see more information at the same time. Since this roller coaster is quite strong, we will need to increase our max G. And add even more memory points to see more of the coaster at the same time. We can change the color of the path to that of the coaster. And for example, make thicker ticks so that the margins are more obvious. Since we really want to see the information clearly, we'll make the whole graph taller. There are many more options you could tweak. And to some extent, it's all about experimenting with them. Now let's give this a quick render. It will take it some time, as every frame has to render lots of data points. And now you can see how the coaster produces low Gs at the top and high Gs at the bottom. Let's use a different example now and try to visualize some GPS data. We select that stream and export again for After Effects. We import the file and the video footage. We create the composition from the video itself. This is some 360 footage that has already been adapted. And since we exported the GPS sensor, we can use gauges such as GPS path, distance, speed, or altitude. Let's use the GPS path. We can increase the size of the graph and toggle collapse transformations to keep quality. Let's go inside the composition and drop our mgjson file. We can select it again in the control layer. And the path changes to ours. We could also tweak a couple of things here, but this is just a test so it doesn't have to look great. We can reduce the complexity of the path to get faster renders. This, however, would be too much. So let's give it some more data points. And we can make this more interesting by adding the speedometer as well. It's always a good idea to solo the layer you're working with so that it renders faster while working with it. We can resize as much as we want, as long as we use the Collapse Transformations toggle. And let's link the MGJSON data, as usual. Our speed is too high for this gauge, so let's tweak the range. We can also change from metric to imperial units, but then 200 might be too much of a speed. Let's try a bit less. And we can also change the number of ticks their width and length, and we can convert the half circle of the gauge into a quarter, like so. We can also combine different sensors. Let's get the accelerometer again from the GoPro telemetry extractor, import it into the project, and use the acceleration gauge. We select it from the control layer, but something doesn't look right that dot should be pulled down by gravity. It's not, so we might have to swap the axis. 
the y-axis is showing 9.6, which is pretty close to gravity. So we'll probably be fine if we switch y and z. Let's try that. We change the numbers, the indices go from 0 to 2, and indeed it looks like gravity is pulling down now. These values change slightly between camera models. We could also display the g-forces, but I think meters per second is fine for this case. And let's give this a quick render. So as you can see, our dot is moving in the map, the speedometer is showing the speed, and the acceleration gauge moves to the sides when turning, and gets smaller when braking. If you know After Effects well enough, of course, feel free to unhide the hidden layers and tweak even more things. So that's pretty much it for now. Hope you guys create cool things with this. There's more documentation in the PDF manual, and if you've got more doubts, you can always get in touch with me.